Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew here, and today um, we're back in the shop, believe it or not. And it's December, and it's cold, and there's no heat, but what's new? We are working on this guitar. Um, this is actually called the Custom, but it's been nicknamed the Swiss Cheeso Caster or something. A couple guys on the internet, like Ed Dana and stuff, that's been calling it different names and stuff. I'm cool with that. This thing's completely tore apart, and yeah, I put a... Uh, contour in the neck here and I reshaped the neck a little bit the neck was really thick I pulled all the frets out of it um, the tuners are still in it I got a set of Grovers in there they're staying we might pull them out you know as we work on it or whatever I got the holes cut in and actually the pickups are pulled out the bridges off everything like that but in the last video we drilled the holes here and put dots in and it didn't really work out um, they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna re-drill these holes back out again all of them and we're going to try a different method and see if we can get a better outcome with the um epoxy dots and if that doesn't work then we'll drill it out again and um we'll go from there we'll figure it out at some point or another so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to take this over to the drill press we're going to drill these dots out and then we're going to come back through and try to figure out what we're going to put in here that's going to give me some nice turquoise blue dots for on this fretboard i got my guitar here on the bench I'm gonna use my rigid hand drill for the first part of this now I believe these holes are um, 5 16 of an inch I'm gonna use my caliper to, to double check to make sure that's what they are and um, if you can see that 5 16 so these whole these all these dots are five sixteenths of an inch. So that would be uh, this drill bit right here. But the problem is I'm using a brad point. See how it's got that little guide or whatever you want to call that up on top of the drill bit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a smaller bit out of my bits. So I'll probably take like a, a five thirty seconds an 11 64 something that's about the size of of that tip maybe a little bit bigger why not going up with a 13 64 here yeah and what I'll do is I'll go over my drill press and I'll drill a hole in the center of each one of these dots first okay with the smaller one that way when my big drill bit comes in the exact size I don't have to worry about it going down and wandering it'll go down inside that hole pretty much say where it needs to go and these holes will be cut out exactly where they need to go. Now this hole doesn't have to be centered. The main thing is I need a, a, a hole for this to go down in and I can find adjust it once I get to the drill press. So what I'm going to do is put this one in my um, hand tool and we'll go down through and now eyeball it and get it as close to center as I can and drill out all these eyeballing it. Then we'll take it to the drill press with the right size and take the rest of them out. Okay, so some of these broke out most of it came out some of them they didn't no big deal like I said now we're gonna take this thing over to the drill press put this drill bit in and I'll drill the rest of this stuff out with this and when we come back we should be good to start getting ready to put epoxy dots in here after I drilled them out with a small bit I was actually able to take a screwdriver and come back through and most of this stuff popped out and left me a big enough hole to where I don't need the drill press I can just put the 5 16 bit in this in my battery gun here I've already drilled out the bottom two here we can just go up through and drill the rest of these out with the battery gun pretty freaking easily so anyways I'm gonna keep on drilling these out and get these all completely drilled out using my battery gun once I get it done we'll come back and talk about what we're gonna do next with these dots we are back and I got all the holes drilled out 
Um, everything looks good. The only thing we have is up at the first dot. You can see that where that piece of wood lifted up. Um, that's not that big of a deal. I'll show you how I'm going to fix that. Just take some super glue like that. I'll peel it back with my finger, lay a couple drops of super glue in, press it down, hold it down for a couple seconds. It'll start to cure and it'll dry and we'll be good as new. You won't ever see it. Once I sand it, once I get the dots in and sand it, you'll never see it. So it's cold out right now and this glue is probably frozen. I'll find out if it actually, I hope it's working. Okay. <coughs> a little bit of epoxy in the mouth there. So I'm just going to peel this. If you can see that, I'm going to peel this back a little bit. So it doesn't knock it loose. Now I'm just going to drop a couple drops of super glue in here. And, you know, put enough in it. Don't be scared to put it in. And then, I'm just going to work it back into its original spot. If I can. I'm just going to hold some pressure on it for a couple. It says on the glue, hold pressure on it for like 30 seconds. But it's kind of cold outside. So I don't know if this stuff's going to cure in the coldness or not. But we're going to take it in the house, let it warm up here in a little bit anyway. So, And there is the initial fix. Um, if you can even see that. It's almost dead perfect right now. If I run my hand across it, I can feel it a little bit. Once that completely cures, hit it with a piece of like 320 sandpaper. It's going to be smooth and you're never going to see it because when it broke, it broke on the grain line. So that's a pretty easy fix. And you can do that with any kind of, like if you've got any kind of, of pieces missing in a fretboard with super glue, you can glue them back in. You won't even ever, you'll never see it. If you lost a piece, piece completely, you can just take and sand the, the um, fretboard itself, take some of the dust, lay the dust in there, pour super glue on top of it, or, or mix the dust together outside of the thing and just pack the, the, the super glue and the dust inside there, let it dry. Then sand it down and go back and do it. You might have to do it like once or twice to get it built up. And once it's completely done, it'll be like 90, 95% unseeable. It'll, be, it'll look really good. But that's back in there. That's pretty much fixed. And now we're ready to start doing some dot work. So what we're going to do is I got to go in the house to get it though. I don't got it out here. And we'll probably do it in the house because it's cold out here. But I got epoxy and I got some different colored paints and we're going to mix the epoxy and the paint together and I'm going to fill each one of these holes with the paint and epoxy and once you get that done you know we're going to let it cure for a while it takes a little bit to cure it says 24 hours on the box for the epoxy but I'll give it a week or two make sure it's completely hard and we'll come back through scrape everything smooth sand it smooth and you're going to have hopefully some really bright looking dots we're ready to glue in my epoxy dots like I said before so this is what we're going to be using this stuff right here. This is a five minute um, weld. It's completely clear. It says five minutes. It, it doesn't cure. It doesn't dry in five minutes. Um, it takes about 24 hours for it to cure though. If you read the back of it. But anywhere from five to ten minutes. You got a, a pretty good working window to work with this stuff. So this is what we're going to be using. I've already got one opened. So we're going to be using the five minute clear JB weld epoxy. Quick setting epoxy. And what I also did was I went and bought some acrylic paint like a craft paint i got these at walmart and this is orange and this is supposed to be glow in the dark but it's not um but it is a nice fluorescent orange i got that color um i had red hanging around just a bright red which was all cool but the color i want is the turquoise so that's what's going on in this guitar the turquoise so we're going to mix epoxy paint get it to the right consistency the right color and then we're going to go ahead and fill all my dots jb weld turquoise paint i'm using the back of an old fretboard and i got some high tech stir right here it's even rusty adds character so what we're going to do if you can see this get this in a position to where you can actually see what the frick i'm doing Bring it back this way a little bit, maybe. Eh, I guess so. We're going to go ahead and squeeze on some epoxy. Epoxy. 
and um, I want to try to make enough to where I can do it in one shot, but I don't want to make too much, but needless to say. And let's see if we can get this bitch back down inside here. There we, there we go. Take our paint. We're going to put in one or two drops of the turquoise. There's one, two, and just for the gicks and chittle, shits and giggle, I can't even talk, we'll put in three. Now we're just going to mix this all up. Get a nice blue color. So that should be the color whenever I'm done. After I get them all sanded down and then polished up and everything, it should be the color of it. thinking it looks pretty rough but that's fine I'm gonna let that cure I want to make sure I got enough in so it's gonna sink and set so I want to have enough so if it sinks it's still gonna be above the hole and we're gonna let this cure for probably 24 hours at least probably more like a week or two before we come back to this thing and then we'll go ahead and sand all this stuff down and hopefully whenever we're done we're gonna get this stuff buffed out and it's gonna look that bright if it looks like that I'll be happy that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and take this guitar back in the house where it's warm let it warm up, let it cure, let it do what it needs to do. Give it 24 hours, a week, two weeks, a month, whatever it's going to take. Whenever we come back, then we'll sand this off, you know, with 60 or 80 grit, and then sand it down in grits to 400, 600, 800, 1,000. And we'll put it on the buffer and hopefully get it up, buff to a nice high gloss, or at least semi-gloss finish that looks like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, all that good stuff. If you haven't had a chance, Go to my video where I'm giving away a set of pickups. I'm giving away a set of either single coil Strat or single coil Tally pickups. Go over there, make a comment, and you'll be entered in to win that. That drawing should be coming up here in the, the next couple weeks, hopefully. And um, someone's going to get a set of pickups. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.